Okay, so here's another vintage telephone from my collection. This is my 1974 Western Electric trim line phone in that really nice red colour. This is a touch tone trim line and it's in really good shape as you can see. It's got such a great shine to it. It really did restore well. Really pleased with it. Even the handset cord's got a shine on it, so that's cool. And it's not all tangled up like you'd expect it to be, so that's nice. This is an AD1 trim line, so it has its original rounded grey cord. Uh, AD1 means it has the older style modular plugs, the big fat ones, not the RJ11 type, it's the earlier type. And um, that's both for the handset and the line cord. And I was re very reluctant to get rid of this original line cord. Me being a collector, I prefer to keep things as original as possible. So I decided to keep hold of this line cord and just put a four prong plug on the end because it was just bare wires when I received it. But it's quite a long line cord anyway, as you can see. So that's cool. And there's the little four prong plug that I put on the end of, which it would have had originally anyway. And that's going into a four prong adapter, which is modular at the end. And that's the modular splitter. This is the black um, dial light transformer cord. And that's plugged into an ADSL filter to filter out any broadband interference with the phone line. And then it goes into the line there. So anyway, all that said, here it is. As you can see, it's an earlier type push button trim line so it has the round keys have a cool sound to them as well and I did um, lubricate them so they're not all squeaky you'll normally find them squeaky when you first get them because they're all dried out over time because it's two contacts pushing together so it makes a squeaky sound but anyway as I said it's from 1974 November to be exact as you can see 1174 and that's the old type modular plug there for the line and for the handset cords. It's just a little bit bigger and you have to actually put a little pin thing in there to press them down. There's no little accessible clips for your fingers. Um, but they do come out, they're not hardwired. The four feet are all intact so that's good. Some nice trim line font there. And there's the bell, probably just see that. That's the bell adjustment for soft and loud. It says their bell system property not for sale. So that's the underside. I'll show you the handset in more detail. The uh, handset card's actually quite long. It's probably about 12 feet that. So here it is. Um, I do have the dial light transformer plugged in as you saw. So I'll turn the lights off a bit later on and show you that. Anyway, I'll show you the tones. So as you can see, it's all working properly. And that's the recall switch, or the bring back dial tone, whatever you want to call it. So there you go. It says trim line there. Of course, being an American phone, it has the alphanumeric keypad. Very typical. It says Western Electric there. There's the transmitter. There's the receiver. The transmitter I replaced for an electronic type because I do plan on using this phone, so... Um, I decided to change that for better speech quality. There's the uh, main switch hook there. And it's got a dial card there. That's the British type. As you can see, it says 100 for the operator, 999 emergency. As you can see, the shine on this, it's just in such nice condition. I'm really pleased with it. It really did restore well. It says on the uh, handset there, which way up is it? There we go. Bell system property not for sale. Sorry it keeps going out of focus, there's a lot of things to focus on. There we go. So, without further ado, I'll uh, do a dial out demonstration and then I'll do a ringing demonstration. So there's your dial tone. There you go, and I'll dial this number and it'll be busy. There you go. I love the sound of those buttons, there's such a nice sound, it's like a real vintage push sound, I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, I'll uh, ring it for you and you can hear the ringer. 
So here you go. So there you go, and just before I forget, I'll turn off the lights and try and show you the dial light. So there you go. It shows up much brighter in real life, the camera doesn't do it justice. But anyway, there's my 1974 Touch Tone Western Electric.